Marauders, welcome back to the channel. Please consider subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and sharing it with a friend. This morning, I want to adjust the suspension, the rear suspension on the 2024 Harley Davidson Road Glide, and I also want to ceramic coat the bike. So I'm going to pull the bags off the motorcycle, which is a simple process. I think I've never done it before. Also remove the seat, remove the side panels, and jack up the bike, which I'm nervous about jacking. I've never jacked a motorcycle with my Pittsburgh Harbor Freight motorcycle ATV jack and ceramic coat the bike. All right, let's get to it. So this is the first time I'm removing bags. And I think all you do is unscrew these retaining bolts, which have a nice thread to them. They come off quickly. Hey, pretty nice. It's got a little carry. This I think it's carried on that bar below there. Yeah, pivots off that bar on the bottom. Look at my first ride. I got it dirty. So to undo the seat, I use a T27 Torx driver to undo a bolt that is holding the retaining strap to the motorcycle. Then remove a bolt on the back of the seat, another T27 bolt on the back. Fender, nice. Okay, now the seat's off. A little dirt on it from the ride I took. Now let's just remove the side panel covers. I think they're just held with, yep, they are. It looks like just rubber. Put the passenger peg down, that comes off. There's the main fuse to the bike. I'm not gonna undo that. And again, look at the dirt. I want to wash that off. That's from my first ride on the bike in the rain. And I'll pull the panel off the other side and then we'll jack the bike. Marauders, the bike is up on the, on the jack, which is a little nervous jacking an 800 pound motorcycle on a narrow jack for the first time, but it seems really stable. And the adjustment I'm going to make this is the adjustment book on the stand. And I'm gonna figure my weight, I'm at 235 now. And then with my clothes and riding gear, let's say I'm at 245. And that's what I'm gonna set with no passenger, 245. And maybe add 20 pounds for additional gear that I take. So according to this chart, 18 millimeters, and I'll show you where that, that dimension is going to be taken. Just like on an eight old ATV or side-by-side -side with a simple suspension, this is a locking ring on the suspension, and there's no preload on it now. Between the bottom preload ring, which I'm going to use this tool to adjust it, between the bottom, between the bottom of the locking ring and the top of the preload ring should be 15 millimeters. So I'm gonna start with that. I gotta get some distance between that locking ring for this tool to fit in, if you can see it, because it's fighting the locking ring. So I'm adding preload, I'm preloading the spring for my body weight and the weight of the stuff I carry me. And I'm going to do 15, a little over 15 millimeters between the two, which looks like I have a long way to go on this. I, I can't believe that's how much preload they call for. I'm not going to, I'm going to cut this until I get it to 15. By the way, that dimension is from, if you can see it, it's from the bottom of the locking ring to the top of the preload ring. And I probably have about, well, a quarter of an inch to go, which would be roughly six more millimeters. And they really tell you to crank this up. If you have a tour pack on, 15 millimeters, which uh, I think that, man, I can't believe that's a preload for a tour pack, which I have one ordered. So I'm at 12 millimeters. And it's, I think it's easier to take the load off the shock when you do this. I learned that 
with side by sides. Trying to adjust them with a 1500, 2000 pound machine on it, you need to jack it to do it. And it makes it much easier. I'm gonna click it up. I'm gonna go to 17 millimeters. And I know I keep changing my mind because of the gear I bring. Okay, so I'm at 19 millimeters. Let's look that up in the book and see what, what, how many pounds that is, the capacity. 19 millimeters is 290 pounds, that's too much. And again, that's with, this is additional weight on the machine, that's too much. I gotta back that down to 15, maybe even 16 millimeters. And I've, I've learned on, especially with ATVs, millimeters on these sum, suspension adjustments make a big difference. Okay, if you can see it, I'm at a heavy 15, a heavy 15, 14, 15, that's 215, is 215, yeah, I think I'm still a little heavy. And I can always reset this, so let me back some of this off. I'm sorry I'm all over the place, this is the first time I've done this. And please comment, those of you who are experienced with this, please let me know. So I'm at 14 millimeters which according to the chart, 14 millimeters would be 260 pounds. Now I'm 230, let's say 235 on a heavy day. My riding gear is 240, 245, 250. So I think being at 250 is a good range, plus I have a gear and I'm gonna start off there. Now we're gonna take the, the locking ring and spin that down. And just snug it. That's all I'm doing on that. And 15 mil, 14 millimeters is the equivalent of roughly eight, nine, nine sixteenths of an inch. So that's how much preload I put on that spring for 150 pounds. And before I shut this down, I'm going to show you on the other side. And I haven't yet to look at it. This is the knob you use, I believe, for, I'll probably just shut the book on it, for adjusting for a passenger, I believe. That's the preload on this side. Give you a look at that knob. So let's do 10 pounds on the preload knob is to four on this meter here. So let's just turn that, let's just get that up for four. We'll do a light four on that. Okay, so that's on four. So that I believe is the only adjustments I can make on the suspension. When I put the tour pack on and travel with this bike, Again, guys, I'm not an expert on this motorcycle, but according to the directions, when I put a tour pack on it, I'm going to have to adjust that again. I think they call for 50 millimeters with a tour pack. Let's look that up because I just shut the book. And there's adjustments in here for the weight of the passenger. This is on the top. This is on page 51 of your manual. For adding a passenger, there's more adjustments in here for the passenger, and they even have for weight of the passenger. And I thought there was something for the tour pack, what to add for a tour pack. So the weight of the tour pack, they want you to add an additional 15 millimeters. So for my weight plus a tour pack, and I'm doing my weight with my boots, my riding gear, which is kind of heavy, they want you to add another 15 millimeters for the tour pack. I don't know if I should weigh that when I get it. Um, so that's interesting. So this suspension is set up. I'll ride it and see how it goes. And uh, I'll try to put a quick riding video in on that. So that's the bike on the lift. Now we'll ceramic coat it. And uh, at least I'm gonna ceramic coat the rims, the things that are hard to do on the ground. Let's get a coat of that on. 
and I'll show you that the finished product. Okay, Marauders. So the bike has one coat, heavy coat, of Groit's ceramic wax on it. Or maybe they call it Groit's ceramic coating. And I do everything. I do engine, the engine. I don't do, obviously, the brake system on it. In fact, I'll clean that with brake cleaner. But I do all the acrylics on it, all the metal parts, everything on the bike. I even do the bottom of the bike. Um, and it just makes even like the black muffler deeper black. I don't know if you can see a real difference on the painted sections of the bike. Um, that's up for you to decide. Harley really does an excellent, my brother says, Harley does an excellent job on the paint finishes on their bikes. And I think their main components, like the controls, are uh, very heavy and have a good touch to them. So everything is done on the bike. I'm not going to do a second coat on this. Um, I don't want to leave it up on the lift tonight. And I have some adjustments to make on the Husqvarna suspension. I think what I'm going to do is leave this on, ride the bike for a month, take jack it up, take it apart like this again, adjust the suspension, wash it, and then put another coat on then. That might not be the best way to do it, but for this bike, that's what, how I'm going to proceed with it. I should have shown, I'll dub this in the video, I should have sh shown the bike assembled on the lift. Apologize for not doing that. But the bags are on, the side covers the seat. And I put the side covers on first, then the seat, and then the bags, because that one passenger strap has to be connected. Also on the brakes, I do, even though I was very careful not to get um, any of the coating on the, the disc, I do clean the disc after I apply the wax, sometimes during the cleaning of the wax, and I use brake clean, brake parts cleaner to do that. So I do clean up. You can see what came off of it. The bike only has 40 miles on it. You can see what came off the disc. So maybe even after you wash your bike, my recommendation is maybe consider even after you wash your bike cleaning the brake disc. I don't think it can hurt doing it, especially if you wax it, because you don't know what, what's in the soap, what type of residue. I'm very sh careful to use pH balanced soaps that won't remove wax or that have any type of wax in them on the motorcycles. Just something to consider. So Marauders, that's it. Um, I may give a short video on how the suspension is out on the road if I notice a difference on it. But uh, the suspension's adjusted. This has, it's on setting four for I believe 10 pounds of additional weight. And then this is adjusted for 14 millimeters, which I, I'm not gonna say the weight, I'll probably get it wrong. At least 250 pounds, maybe 260. So that's a preload is 14 millimeters. You can see the threads on it now and uh, we'll ride it and see how she goes. Please again, thank you for taking your time to watch this video. Maybe you learned something. Again, I'm not an expert on any motorcycle, especially a Harley Davidson. This is my first one. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, sharing it with a friend. Please take care guys and ride safe. To see you on the trail. She's a pretty girl. I haven't named her yet. I haven't named her. I, I think, by the way, not the best jacking job, but it is stable uh, side to side on the lift. Uh, the rear tire's down. I had a hard time finding the balance point with that jack. If anyone knows of a better jack, please let me know. Um, by the way, I think I know one name. I think the dual sport, maybe two, the dual sport is going to be Cowboy. Ducati is going to be Duke. I don't know what this is going to be, and I don't know what I'm going to call the Husqvarna. I kind of like naming my bikes, rather than she. And I always refer to the Husqvarna. I start off by calling it the Ducati. She's a beast. <laughs>